Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch option on our 2003 Honda Odyssey. Now the hitch on the top of our rack here is going to be the Kurt Class 3, part number C13068, followed by the Draw Tight Class 3 Max Frame Hitch, part number 75270. And our third hitch is going to be the Kurt Class 2, part number C12031. And the hitch on the bottom is going to be the draw tight class 2, part number 36417. Now you're going to notice that we have a difference in hitches here. The top two are going to be class 3 hitches, or these bottom two are going to be class 2. That's going to give you a 2 inch openings on our class 3s, an inch and a quarter on our class 2s. Now another difference you're going to notice on our class 3 hitches is the Kurt, it's gonna have one 5 8 hitch pin hole, where the draw tight, it's gonna have our standard 5 8 hitch pin hole, and it's gonna have a half inch hole for our J-pin stabilization device. Now another difference you're gonna notice on our class three is that on our Kurt, it's a nice smooth transition here with this plate where it's welded all the way around the outside. Then our draw tight, it's an open end tube here that kind of protrudes out past the edge. Now they're both going to be the same strength, it's just going to be aesthetics from the rear of the vehicle. Now another difference you're going to notice is how they mount. On our Kurt, we're going to use the two rearward holes, we're going to use factory weld nuts, and the forwardmost hole is going to use a carriage bolt that we're going to fish through an existing hole in the frame. For our draw tight, it's going to use three existing weld nuts to attach it. Now another difference in our two class three hitches is going to be our Kurt. It's going to have 350 pounds of tongue weight, which is the amount of downward force, and 3,500 pounds of gross trailer weight, which is the amount it can pull with a loaded trailer. Now if you're going to use weight distribution, that's going to bring you up to 500 pounds of tongue weight and 5,000 pounds of gross trailer weight. Now with our draw tight, we're going to have 675 pounds of tongue weight and 4,500 pounds of gross trailer weight. Now if you go up to weight distribution with that, you're going to stay at 675 on your tongue weight, but we're going to move up to 5,000 pounds on our gross trailer weight. The difference in the length here is what's going to give you a little bit of extra carrying capacity on the draw tight over the Kurt. Now we're going to go ahead and show the differences of our class 2 hitches. Now you can see on our Kurt hitch, it's a nice round tube design where our draw tight is going to be a square tube design. Another difference you're going to notice between the Kurt and the draw tight is the draw tight uses a round style safety chain loop. It's going to give you a nice large hole for your large safety hooks. Where the Kurt's going to have a flat steel with a little bit smaller diameter hole so if you have a really large safety chain loop hook, it may not fit into there. Now another difference you're going to notice is on our Kurt, it's got a reinforcement plate on the top and the bottom as well, where our draw tight is only going to have one across the top. Now another difference you're going to notice between the Kurt and the draw tight, is the draw tight is only going to use two holes to mount it into the factory weld nuts, where your Kurt is going to use two of the factory weld nuts, and we're going to have to fish that third bolt down through the existing hole in the frame. And like the class threes, the Kurt's got a more aesthetically pleasing side cover here where the draw tight's gonna pass through and kind of stick out, stick past the edge of our plate on the hitch. Now on our class twos here, our Kurt's gonna have a 350 pound tongue weight and a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight. Our draw tight's gonna be 300 pounds of tongue weight with our 3,500 pounds of gross trailer weight. Now a note on the Kurt, if you're using it for a non-trailered load such as a cargo carrier or a bike rack, they recommend the use of a stabilization strap. Another difference between our class three hitches and our class two is the class two are both gonna come with a hitch pin and clip that's included with your kit. Now all of our hitches are gonna be a nice black powder coated finish it's going to help protect against rust and corrosion and keep them looking nice for years to come. 
They're all going to tuck up nicely under the back of your vehicle. So it's going to fit up against the bottom of the fascia. They're all going to have this, coll uh, this reinforcement collar around the outside. So if you're going to use an anti-rattle collar or anti-rattle device to go around your hitch, it's going to clamp on the outside of that. Now you can see we have a draw tight class three hitch installed here on our 2016 Odyssey. You can see it fits up very nice against the bottom of our vehicle. With the black powder coated finish, it's going to make it aesthetically pleasing. I hope this aids you in your buying decision for a hitch for your 2016 Honda Odyssey.